In the past 10 years, one of the biggest things that has been happening in the oil and gas industry is the discovery of unconventional shale oil and shale gas. Being able to tap into these resources and effectively harvest them is incredibly important to the world economy. As far as history is concerned, we've always had some good petroleum engineering professors, but we've never really had somebody take the initiative and build a facility that's dedicated just to petroleum engineering. The High Bay Research Facility is one of the most advanced oil and gas research centers in the world. We started planning for a way to have the research capacity that they needed to solve some really important problems. We try to establish a platform uh, that would provide a set of integrated experimental and computational capabilities as well as a significant research capacity from a meteor scale down to atomic level. I think any university as they are evolving tries to become really well known and an expert in a few areas and for the University of Wyoming this is one of them. This facility is really unique in that it's tailor-made for collaboration. And it helps establish us as really a, a leader in being able to serve uh, one of the most important indus industries in our state. And really it can foster an environment of pushing the science forward and also meeting the needs of industry. We are able to study fluid flow at the macro scale in which we use large core samples we obtain from different reservoirs. One of the really important pieces of this facility is that we have a 20-ton bridge crane available, enabling us to bring in really heavy steel rock pieces in order to do research on them. We are able to actually look into pores the size of a few microns. Much less than the width of a human hair. Unconventional reservoirs have very small pores, very small permeability, so once you do drill the well, you'll produce a little bit of oil, but most of it will be stuck in the pores. We don't have a full understanding of the physics that are governing the flow at that level, and coming to that understanding is a big goal of ours here. We are able to use that insight to perhaps uh, improve the recovery from those unconventional reservoirs. We have the ETEM, which is one of only a several in the world. That allows us to do nanoscale imaging as well as angstrom scale imaging, which means we can actually visualize atoms. And then we have all of these CT scanners that have proprietary and confidential designs. It is very important for us to continue innovating in order to maintain that status for the state of Wyoming and for the country. We are very conscious of having strong partnerships with industry. This facility, I think, really illustrates that in a beautiful way because the facility itself was built with funds from partners from the energy industry. There were a number of them that stepped forward and said, this is needed, we could benefit from this research and we want to support it. We could press forward on the fundamental science while also assisting industry to design better solutions for their oil and gas extraction. We would like to be able to have talents from around the world. How do we attract the best of the best, if you will, and give them an opportunity to collaborate with us here? Because you can have a beautiful facility, but if you don't have the right people working in it, it really doesn't matter. Boy, a graduate student, really excited about our work or research here because we know what we do is going to directly apply to the field. Not only in the oil and gas industry, but porous media applications at large. Our goal is just to run as many cutting edge experiments as we can. The instruments that we have in this facility, plus the talented people that they are willing to work together, collaborate together, in my opinion, it will make everything possible. Really, nobody in the world is doing this kind of work. So it really brings a lot of visibility in a very, very large industry uh, across the world. And that's why you see companies continue to invest in the research that's going on here, because they understand the economic importance of this research as we move down the road. We have just got it started, and we would like to be able to receive very strong support from, from our leadership in the state and university, and additional partnerships with entities outside the University of Wyoming and outside the state of Wyoming. And with that sort of capacity, I don't see why we can't change things for the better.